Hey, folks, how you doing? Ben Guyot here. Welcome back to the, uh, the Comedy Kitchen. Uh, the bleeding finally stopped. Uh, found the phone. It was down in the, uh, the hot tub room. Uh, there was a nice uh, elderly lady in there, and, uh, boy, she uh, didn't appreciate it when I asked her why all the extra bubbles. Anyway, uh, welcome back to the program. Dave Hook's uh, coming up in the elevator, and I can, uh, I can still kind of feel she belt me pretty good. We're having roast beef hash, and I was uh, just about to start cutting the onions when I realized I, I lost the phone, but it's back now, so if anybody calls me, I'll be ready. Ah, that must be Dave with his guitar. Funny, funny guy you're going to love. He's great. Hey! Hey! How you doing, man? I was ringing. Yeah, well, ringing. Yeah, I know. Got a bit of a nosebleed here. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Wine. Thank you very wine, much. A little music. Thanks. Now, where are the women? Uh, they're wine, coming women later. Song, isn't that the... Got a nice little old lady from down in the hot tub. She's going to come up later, maybe, and, and join us. <laughs> Put on the old apron oh. there, will you, bud? Excellent. It's a nice guitar you got there. Thank you. Are you in a musical mood today there, Dave? No, but for you, Ben, anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that oh look cute. at this. Thank you. You're and the stripes are going down. Makes me look perfect. a little uh, thinner. Thinner? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anything below my waist, so I wouldn't want anything any thinner. You know what I'm saying? I have roast beef hash. Come on. Roast beef roast hash. Roast beef hash. Yeah. And I got to get you to do a couple things. Okay. Okay. You that's look, no problem. Kind of worried about it, but no, no, that's okay. I the, uh, love roast beef and I, I love hash. There oh. you go. Oh, wait a minute. No. You put them together. It's even Just better. Just say no to drugs. <laughs> that's our PSA for today. Okay. Can I get you to to cut up the roast beef in little little cubes? Sure. Little, little cubes. cubes. You know how to cut uh, meat? Ah. Uh, yeah. Sure. You know how to do it? <laughs> of course. And I'll, I'll do the so onion. I, my hands are clean. Yes. All right. So yeah. uh, little little cubes, you say? Little cubes, please. All right. Good man, good man. All right. So, big announcement from uh, Dave Hook, who's telling me on the phone. He has quit, drum roll, smoking. Congratulations. Oh, yes, yes. Good yes. for you. I quit smoking. Beautiful. And then, look what I find. Oh, wow. At the store when I gave them money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, forget that. All right, that, I got to get back to the Cuban here. <laughs> Cuban uh, heat. I know uh, Mr. Hook here uh, loves... Uh, uh, holiday seasons and Christmas is coming it up. It is you're like, coming up. You're like the biggest kid coming I know up. in the world of comedy when it comes to Christmas. I know, but now there's other kids I got to look after. I got little nieces and nephews and you know what? I screwed up last year. What do you mean? They wanted a gift. They, they specifically told me they wanted a video of the Dixie Chicks. Have you heard of them? The Dixie the, Chicks? Yes, I have. Country actually. and Western. Yeah, group. good looking ladies. Yes, they got uh, a concert video and I screwed up. I got them the wrong tape. Oh. I got them chicks with dicks. <laughs> and that is just not the same thing. But I watched the tape, you know, Did you watch every it? night. Yeah. Oh, plenty of times. <laughs> no need to return that gift. It's worked out for me. <laughs> little cubes. Are little you, cubes, you say? Are you going to do anything special for the holidays? Are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Or? Uh, I don't think so. No, same you old. See the kids and get them another dirty tape. <laughs> Oh, drop the cube. That's okay. Dave here is, uh, like Ready? most stand-up comedians, watches way too much TV. You love TV. This guy's like the connoisseur of yeah, TV, right? Yeah, I know. Nothing really to brag about, I guess, but... Uh, well, what do you watch? What do you like? I, I don't like too much, you know, like the commercials now just insult our intelligence, don't you think? Yes, I mean, kind of. Some of them now, like, I hate commercials when you watch them, and it's... They get teenagers to do the commercials, but they're so blatantly written by adults. Like, there's this thing, I don't know if you've seen it, for Rogers... Uh, Internet on cable. Yes, it's like this yeah. little girl, she comes out there, she's kind of annoying, and she comes out and she's like, uh, So you're surfing the net, right? Because you want to stay in the loop. In the loop. I'm 20 years old, I just learned that term like a month ago. And she's saying, right? But your best friend's calling, and she's getting the busy signal. All she hears is, eh, eh, eh. I mean, she's your best friend for crying out loud. For crying out loud, what kid says that? A little out of touch, you think? Oh, yeah, I think they should just take it right to the next level. Just have her come out there. So you're, not, you're on your new computer, right? And it's the bee's knees. I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles. <laughs> and your best friend's calling you up, right? Because she wants to see if you want to go out to the speakeasy. Right. Maybe have a couple of giggle, giggle juice. Maybe do a little jitterbugging. Sure. Yeah. You know, I, don't know. I, I always like this commercial. <laughs> it's a Kool-Aid commercial, but you got a Kool-Aid bit on, commercial on the Kool-Aid. Why don't you like that? It's a good commercial. Fun. Well, it's old too, but well, I mean, I remember watching them. I think we all saw them when we were a kid. It was like they were all the same, right? There'd be a family sitting around on a hot day. They'd all be, "Oh, we're hot. Yeah, we need refreshment." <laughs> and then, "Oh yeah, 
That big jug of Kool-Aid guy come running through the wall there, right? Yeah. First of all, they weren't even afraid. <laughs> I think I might soil myself if I saw that guy come running through my wall. You ever, ever heard of a door there, buddy? Yeah. Uh, and it costs only pennies a glass. Well, it's good. It's going to cost a couple grand to fix the wall the fat jug just ran through. <laughs> Okay, Dave Rook is cutting up the uh, roast beef in this small cubes. Are these good enough cubes, there? They're fine cubes. Actually, they're finely fine cubes. <laughs> I'm cutting up the onion, and then I'm going to uh, peel these potatoes and All do right. a little bit of parsley because we're making roast beef hash. Hash. Right. I mean roast beef. Good, good, good. So you uh, uh, just got back from a wedding. It wasn't yours, I know. It was a good friend of yours. Yeah, my, one of my friends got married. This is a really weird thing, eh? He got married, but he took his wife's name. So now, every time I see him, i got to call him Susan. <laughs> lies, and lies, lies. In, in his spare time, uh, <laughs> I, I got to tell the people this, you'll probably be mad. A lot of comedians have different hobbies. Uh, in your case, it's UFOs. You're into that whole thing. I, I like that. that. I yeah? like that sort of You're weird stuff it? there. I like watching those, because uh, we got that space channel. Yep. If you watch yep. that. Yeah, it's a good Some channel. of them are, I saw this like documentary. There's this guy on the, on the show, right? And he's telling everybody he was abducted by a UFO, right? right? I'm not saying I don't believe him or anything, but I'm thinking, why would you ever mention that to somebody? Why? What's Especially on TV. I mean, once you say that, you're a freak for the rest of your life. I mean, no one ever treats you the same. If that ever happened to me, I would not tell a soul. I mean, I, I could be caught red-handed. I could be found naked right. by police in a crop circle. <laughs> and I'd still have an excuse, you know. I'd be like, uh, I guess uh, me and Black Sambuca don't mix, eh, boys? Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> You know, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you play some uh, some music. Now, That's if I could right. just take you away from this for a second. All right, let's, let's have well, a song. A you, song? You can come back to this. we got lots of time. All right, I want to hear uh, Bare Naked Leggies. Uh, bare Naked Leggies. Bare Naked bare Leggies? Naked <laughs> ladies, a fabulous I'll show you my bare naked Canadian, leggies. Canadian group. I've won tons of awards. But you've done a parody of If I Had a Million Dollars. Ah, yes, dollars. yes. So here's Dave Hook. He's going to parody that song. And I'm going to start to uh, peel this. All potatoes. right, just for you. I don't know what yeah. kind of thing you got going here. Why got not? me to come over, bring some wine, play some songs for you, some cameras. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what you think's gonna happen here, buddy, but well, this is the Bare Naked Ladies. What was their big song? If I had a million if I had a ladies, million or if I had a million dollars. <laughs> right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. If you had that much money, would you be that nice? No. Well, uh, we already know that's a fact, Ben. <laughs> If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd probably be on drugs, <laughs> expensive stuff like hash. And if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I wouldn't have to masturbate. I'd get whores to do that for me. And if I had a million dollars, you'd be my slave. Now you bet. <laughs> and if I had a million dollars, I'd get you to shine my shoes. And if I had a million dollars, I'd blow the rest on broads and booze. And if I had a million dollars, I wouldn't have to eat craft dinner. Craft dinner, is that tomorrow? Yeah. All right. <laughs> And if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you an exotic pet, like a python that could kill you. And if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy me a Porsche, and I'd splash you at the bus stop. And if I had a million dollars, I'd buy your house. <laughs> or your apartment. And if I had a million dollars, I would make me your landlord. And if I had a million dollars, I'd raise your rent to something you couldn't afford. And if I had a million dollars, I'd be a prick. <laughs> Very good, oh, sir. No. Very good. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Can I get any royalties for doing that, too? Any royalties? I don't know. Because now that you've played your get guitar. Get to call you guys, not me. <laughs> get, get you to wash your hands there, bud. All right, there's some stuff. Wash my hands? Gotta wash your hands after you've been playing the guitar. Oh, that's right. That, that was great, man. That's metal in there. Stuff. So we're making roast beef hash with Dave Hook, and he's going to come back. He's going to continue to cut up the roast beef into small pieces. I will continue to uh, take the skin off these potatoes. Going to be right back with more of the Comedy Kitchen right after you watch this.